Well, it sounds like something out of a horror movie, a blob weighing 13 million tons coming up out of the ocean onto the beach. But it's a reality the first coast is going to experience, at least in part, in the coming weeks. An exceptionally large patch of sargassum seaweed has begun to come ashore on our shoreline. Atia Collins joins us live now from Ponte Vedra. And Atia, we knew this was coming, mm -hmm. but we heard it smells. And what does it look like? Yeah, if you're walking along the beach here, particularly in St. John's County, I'm here along A1A and you will notice it. It looks just like this, these thick crops of brown seaweed filled with ocean debris, some very nice she seashells in here. So if you're looking for seashells, come on down. But don't worry, this is not toxic to humans, but it will impact our ecosystem. And it's one of the largest algae blooms on record, according to experts. This is one of the largest sargasm blooms on record, according to experts at NASA. It's noticeable to those walking along the sand. Charlotte doesn't like to step on it. She thinks it, it feels a little squishy underneath her feet, but uh, for us, it, it doesn't, doesn't feel like a nuisance. Uh, we didn't realize that it wasn't supposed to be here, so we just thought it was kind of part of nature and part of the beach. The sargasm develops naturally every year in the Atlantic Ocean, but this year the algae stretches from West Africa to the Gulf of Mexico. Why so big? For that answer, we turn to Ed McGlinley, a science professor who has been keeping an eye on the algae, which he says has been growing since 2011. Issues associated with climate change, increased nutrients in the water from fertilizers, uh, increased uh, Saharan dust clouds coming into the water off the coast of Africa. It's kind of creating this perfect storm of a lot of extra nutrients that wouldn't normally be there. This summer, the beaches may be more stinky as the algae decomposes. And while the algae is not toxic, beachgoers should look out for any creatures that may be hiding in the thick brown seaweed. Anytime you have a lot of it moving in, you could have predatory fish moving in as well. If it gets big enough, though, it, it has been known to cause issues with clogging boat props. Now, the sargasm bloom peaks in the summer. That means June, July. So if you're heading to the beach, you will be seeing these clumps of brown seaweed, and you will smell that decomposing smell. Reporting in St. John's County, Atia Collins, First Coast News, on your side. Atia. We want to check.